A meth-taking motorist who hit and seriously injured a child will spend at least seven months behind bars, despite a judge ruling the drug didn't affect her driving. The case has prompted calls for the state government to introduce tougher drug driving laws. Leah Lanazic has never held a driver's licence, yet she's been caught driving without one five times in five years, and the last time almost cost a life. She ran a red light and struck 12-year-old Nicholas Falco at a Salisbury Heights pedestrian crossing. He was left with a brain injury. Lanazic was today jailed for seven months and won't be able to drive for three years. Judge Barry Beasley saying that even the fact she was the single mother of three children was not enough reason to suspend her sentence and that it was outrageous she'd been driving unlicensed, on drugs and with her children in the car. You are not some immature person, you are now 39 years old. Last month, Judge Beasley controversially acquitted Lanazic of dangerous driving over the November 2012 incident. The 39-year-old had taken ice, but the judge said there wasn't enough evidence to prove she'd been affected by it. He convicted her of the less serious charge of driving without due care. Despite the controversial acquittal of the more serious charge, the judge said he had to send a strong message to others that inattentive driving wouldn't be tolerated. The acquittal angered the victim's family. They want to contribute towards reforming the law and they don't want this particular case to simply pass by uh, as being just another court case. They say the presence of drugs alone should be enough to prove impaired driving. Kim Robertson, Nine News.